Hi guys, welcome to mock engineering program. I'm just going to explain you how the mock engineering program really works. Yep. So let's start with the mock engineering is not your typical uh, mock series. Yeah, with the objective, whichever normal objective to just give you mocks and make you practice mocks. What we are doing here is we are able to, we are going to redesign the way you take mocks. Yep. So be with me. I'll just explain you how it works. First of all, it's not a test series. It's a complete mentorship based program with the objective to increase your score by 20 marks. Yep. So we promise you that you will at least increase your score by 20 marks by end of this program. So whenever you join your program, whichever program you want to join, the strategies will remain same or the strategies will be valid across the programs. Yep. So let's start with the difficulties. Why the problem which people take while they're taking mocks and tests. Number one, incomplete paper. They're not able to complete the paper. Most of students struggle to complete the paper in time. Number two is speed or attempts. Yeah, the ideal attempt, optimizing the attempt, that's again a very big problem. Third, or one of the most important problems is accuracy. Yeah, with most of the exams coming with a negative marking, you can't afford to lose even a single question wrong. Yeah, so we will take care of all these things in the mock engineering program. Number fourth is the stuck at scores. If you've already joined our coaching institute or joined our mock uh, test checking program, you are stuck at scores. Yeah, normally people are stuck at 80%, 90% or wherever you are stuck at. Fine, that's one of the big problem. Number five is a bad chart. Now, this is a problem which will affect you in most of the uh, uh, tougher exams. Yeah, for example, if you do first five questions wrong, trust me, your motivation go we will go down like anything and you will end up screwing up your complete paper. Yep, that's another big problem. Sixth one is a motivation to complete the paper. It's very, very difficult to first sit through the uh, two hours time or two and a half hours time, whichever time you is uh, for the, that particular exam. Fine, that's again itself is a big problem. So we'll sort out all this problem when we'll go through the mock program. Number seven is a guesswork versus negative marking. So uh, now you want to, some questions which you like to do, but you end up not doing them because Yep, you might feel they get wrong or other way around you mark up a few questions even you you know they might go wrong fine so again it's a very big dilemma which you choose guesswork or negative marking number eight is scanning the paper now most of the coaching institutes or classes recommend to scan the complete paper before you start fine we do, do it other way around it's impossible first of all to scan the complete paper without spending time on that you will end up wasting a lot of time scanning the paper so we'll optimize your strategies for scanning the paper also Number nine is a difficulty level. Some of the mock papers are nonsense mock, which are much more difficult than your actual paper. Fine. So first of all, I'll recommend you to stop all the nonsense mocks you're taking. Fine. And concentrate on the mock which you're actually going to get in the paper. Right. Last is the cutoffs. Yeah. Most of the exam have a cutoff for a particular section or the four whole exams. Find how to optimize your score so that you reach the cutoff is again one of the big problems for the students. Yeah. So all these things will be taken care of in the mock engineering program. Yeah, so let me uh, walk you through the program, how we're going to work on. We have divided the complete mocks into three phases. Number one is building your basics and accuracy. That's the first part of the program. We'll first work on your building your accuracy. Second part is building your attempt or speed. Fine. Then third part is optimization. That's the main part, how to optimize your strategies. So if I try to draw this on chart, the first phase is walk before you run. Yep, so let's first get comfortable with the mock. First, let's start the easy mocks which are there to motivate you. Fine, mock is to improve your weakness. Fine, we are going to work out and find out the weakness and then we're going to improve your weakness. So that's the phase one, building your accuracy and basics. Second phase is attempt building or increasing your speed. So with a varied level of difficult exams, negative marking and all these things, we'll try to increase your accuracy, increase your speed, sorry. And third is optimization. So we'll experiment with the few mocks and try to help enhance skills, especially towards the end of the uh, program and as you go closer to your exam. So we'll optimize your strategy. So the three phase program, starting with the easy level exams and going up to the actual paper based exam. Yep. So mentorship based, what we do, you'll all be assigned to a mentor. As soon as you register to the program, you'll see a phone number given the site whom you have to call, he's going to be a mentor. Fine, the mentor is like a doctor. So you take a few mocks and then call him to know your strategies on how you can improve on that. So mentor is going to be a student or alumni of a top B school. So we are going to have a expert on board for you to support you into throughout the pro program. 
after every level every session you have to call your mentor you have to discuss your weak area how to improve yourself and all these things so there are the checkpoints so first checkpoints is after your phase 1 or during your phase 1 after your first mock then in your phase 2 phase 3 so please don't forget to call your mentor because without calling your mentor sorry you not able to get the strategy part all right so moving on to the innovation part lot of innovative things we have done in the mock program a the mentorship based everything is innovative so carrying on with the innovative things we have designed some visual gks and visual vocab which i'll go through right away and the dd mocks the planning tool the strategies and shortcuts all these things we'll talk about let me start with the visual vocab how we have done this so all words now you you might remember a few words but you end up forgetting a few words so what we have done is we have made it visual representation of the chart for example now the the the, the visual which i'm going to show you will you will remember the word all your life fine let's start with the word called bold rights yeah the meaning of the word is to remove the passages considered offensive from a book play or something fine so the linking word is bulldozer So if you now whenever you the bull, the word come into your mind just remember the word bulldozer so bulldozer bulldozer content fine now you remember this word all your life fine that's the way we are going to do the words in the program yep so you will remember that word for your life second is a visual gk most of the exams are now coming with the gk as a scary part yep so we'll cover up all these things in this video uh, in the mock engineering program for example gk which is the following the wrong combination for the dances yeah laho punjab so it's very very difficult to remember all these kind of dances which are there in the country and all these things so let me give you one easy diagram for this all right now pause the video for a minute just try to remember all these dances in india yeah and then we will start with the test so you can pause the video now yeah now once you have done all this thing now let, let's see the questions which are the following the wrong combination now within seconds you will find out laho was not in punjab so i can easily mark them and same kuchipudi is a andhra pradesh dance so all this thing you can easily remember so we are going to have a nobel prize sark nations national highways indian revolution all these questions coming on in the mock engineering program it's already there so you can browse through once you join the program now strategy part we have lot of uh, workout videos in the uh mock engineering program swot analysis 3415 strategy so there are a lot of strategy videos which are there so go through the video as you go along the thing fine so they are wonderful things to enjoy in this program dd mock this is a innovative concept what we are doing one month before your exam yeah now students normally become active or become serious about the exam in the last few days only so one month before the exam we are going to launch a dd mock which will give you an overview of a uh, paper what is it going to get after one year so objective is to improve yourself um, objective is to find out where you stand and how much improvement we need so that you can then follow our 30 day plan and improve accordingly yeah that's the main objective of this d day program all right yeah you can also if you are in that town you can also uh, join our workshops if you just, just go to sightseeing.com so that you can find out where all we are doing the workshops in workshop we again have done everything innovative logical quant for example we don't teach any formulas in quant we'll tell you how to do every quant question without using any formula we call it logical quant second is di data interpretation we'll do visual di visual di is like we'll do every question of di without using any pen yeah so visually we'll try to solve the di number 3 is pd verbal now the verbal the biggest from the verbal is a speed how to optimize my speed yeah so we are going to work on the verbal part and the accurate lr so the sorry, last part is lr so we are going to work on how to accurate get 100% marks in all the logic based questions so it's not do so it's lr yeah you can if you are in the town where we have our centers and you can also use our library if you join the intensive or turbo pack so that's all come handy for you people fine so all the best for exam so if you want to register for us you can pay online everything is there online here the phone numbers given on the site as well and here so you can contact us to know more about the program and how you can follow all right all the best thank you